Hi, my name is Alexander Sergienko. I am a software engineer and a passionate technical speaker. I enjoy getting into details of reactive, distributed and high-loaded systems. I am also particularly excited about domain-driven design, synchronicity and reactive programming. In this series I will try to wrap my head around different aspects of modern technologies. Hope that you will get excited too. Here we go! What comes to your mind when you hear the term distributed messaging? Well, not even that, let's paraphrase. What are your expectations concerning the messaging in distributed systems? I suppose that reliability will occupy one of the top positions in the list of answers. What sense do we put into the reliability? In most cases, we just want to be assured that our messages will be eventually delivered without loss and that seems pretty reasonable in terms of architecture. There are also cases when reliability is not considerable and rather is negligible. The illustration here can be a click stream that is generated by a user during web session. Fundamentally, it may be fully acceptable to decrease reliability guarantees and lose some messages in exchange for performance. As it usually happens in the distributed world, there are many trade-offs are available and the most common is performance versus guarantees of delivery semantics. In this video, we will try to figure out how to get the most of Apache Kafka, make it bulletproof against a variety of failures and push its reliability and durability through the roof. There are four participants in the game called messaging. They are producer, consumer, topic and the broker itself. Producer is an application that publishes records to the broker, while consumer in its turn reads these messages. Broker means the Kafka cluster itself and it lies straight in the middle between the three. Each participant has unique reliability and performance related settings. Let's start with the producer. Number 1. Producer X. X is the number of acknowledgments the producer requires the leader to have received before considering a request complete. For strict guarantees you should set it to all. This means the leader will wait for the full set of his in-sync replicas to acknowledge their record. This guarantees that the record will not be lost as long as at least one in-sync replica remains alive. Number 2. Max in flight requests per connection. You should pay close attention to this setting in case you want strong message ordering inside a single topic partition. If the setting has a value greater than 1, then you may break the original ordering in case of failures. I have a video that covers this aspect in detail. Some researches cover a performance impact of max in flight requests per connection are also available. My experience suggests setting this parameter in the range between 3 and 5 weeds enable a dampotence set to true if message ordering inside partition is vital. Time to look at consumer. And the number 3 is consumer group ID. Group ID is a unique stream that identifies the consumer group this consumer belongs to. In most cases, you would use consumer groups to process messages from Kafka and it is better to pay close attention to this attribute and make sure that all consumers in the group share the same group ID. Number 4. Consumer Auto Offset Reset this parameter defines what to do when there is no initial offset in Kafka or if the current offset does not exist anymore, for instance because that data has been deleted. For the best reliability, I recommend you to set this parameter to earliest, which means that the offset will be reset to the earliest for each topic partition. Number 5. Consumer Enable Auto Commit don't use auto commits in critical processes because this may potentially lead to message loss during failures, which is only acceptable for at most once delivery semantics. The false value is preferable since it is better to 
control commits explicitly in the consumer to achieve strict delivery semantics. Number six, consumer allow auto create topics. This setting identifies whether the topic will be automatically created when subscribing to. I recommend you explicitly set these to false even if you're using the auto create topics enable parameter on the broker. Now time to look at the settings which are essential on the level of topic. And number seven is topic min and sync replicas. When a producer sets X to all, this setting specifies the minimum number of replicas that must acknowledge a right for the right to be considered successful. This allows enforcing greater durability guarantees. A typical scenario is to set min and sync replicas to two for a topic with three partitions and that producer acts to all. This will ensure that producer will raise an exception if a majority of replicas do not receive a write. The default value is one. Number eight, topic retention milliseconds. Always explicitly override this value for critical topics to avoid undesirable scenarios and possible data loss. You should pre-estimate how soon consumers can read the data and set the parameter accordingly. The default value is 7 days, which means records that are older than this period will be subjected to deletion. 9. Topic unclean leader election enable. When set to true, let enable replicas that are not in the in-sync replicas list to be elected as leaders. This potentially leads to data loss and should be avoided in the vast majority of cases. This parameter also can be set at a cluster-wide level. Time to look at the settings which are essential on the level of Kafka Broker itself. And number 10 is Broker auto create topics enable. I believe that this is a good practice to prohibit the automatic creation of any entities in distributed systems. This implies a significant decrease in control and may drastically affect whole system stability. That's why I recommend setting the auto create topics enable parameter to false. I also think that using GitOps for Apache Kafka is a good way to avoid human mistakes or typos and increase overall system stability. A rule of thumb is nobody except trusted sources should be able to create topics or change their preferences. The next parameter is min in sync replicas. I've mentioned the producer X parameter when discussing the producer related settings. When it is set to all, the min in sync replicas specifies the minimum number of replicas that must acknowledge a right for the right to be considered successful. If the minimum cannot be achieved, then the exception will be thrown. Distributed messaging is based on contrasts and trade-offs. In most cases, it's possible to treat performance for durability and reliability, or vice versa. As we already covered, Apache Kafka may look extremely complicated from some perspectives and it is of primary importance to choose the right and well-balanced settings for each use case. Thank you for watching, hope that you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and thumb up this video. Goodbye for now.